where we want to start. What stands out from the first set of rankings? Uh, number four. Clemson Tigers. The Clemson Tigers have wins against number 22, NC State, number 21, Wake Forest, and 20, Syracuse. So are those three wins better than TCU's wins combined? Although, I mean, TCU beat some teams that are no longer ranked, obviously with Oklahoma and Kansas, but like that I, that to me is the difference that there I think isn't Clemson the only team of any of these in the top 25 that has three wins over current top 25 teams mm -hmm. like I think that's what it says that's why I was kind of I was I wasn't that surprised you know the guys in the show they were flabbergasted and I'm like as soon as you saw the back end of that top 25 and you saw their three opponents come in I was like sweet Clemson's gonna be, Clemson's gonna be in a pretty good position so I was not that surprised and it's I mean, I, I don't know. I do think there's a double standard with some of the teams because, like, if especially if you want to compare them against TCU because the one thing I hear about Clemson is they're not as dominant. They're not, you know, they're not. I think we have the standard of what we think Clemson should be, which is an incredible standard, and they want to be held to that one too. But when it talks about comparing them to TCU, TCU's been in all these epic games. They've needed to come back as well, and they've had one possession games that weren't exactly dominant performances either. They've just found ways to win. So I think TCU and Clemson are very similar, which is why if I'm TCU, I'd probably be irritated. Like, all right, why are we as low as we are? I, I totally agree with that on TCU. To, to end this on Clemson, if they went out, they're in, right? Here's, here's the thing, though. So they have three currently ranked wins. Wake and NC State play each other this weekend. There's a really good chance one of them the loser of that game drops out, right? Now, Clemson has a nice road win over the Knolls in Tallahassee. If FSU takes care of business this weekend, they're almost certainly ranked, especially because they have a, a win over number 10 LSU, which is a little bit surprising to me that LSU is 10. But anyway, uh, FSU has to go play Syracuse. There's a very good chance that Clemson's resume from here on out does not get a whole lot better because South Carolina is almost certainly not going to end up ranked. And North Carolina, I don't know if you guys caught this today, they announced like their best linebacker and best defensive end are done for the year or done for this week at least so no, they're, they're done for the year but like i said year, okay. number 110 to 114 what, what's that's, the fair. that's fair that's fair as long as number 10's at qb1 north carolina is the same team and north carolina has to play nc state mm -hmm. so i mean there are certain scenarios you could play this out where clemson ends up with three ranked wins or zero right by, by the end of the year poll i guess we'll have to see so if clemson wins out <clears throat> and let's assume that you know because if you look at syracuse's schedule Syracuse, they've this week they've got what Pitt? Mm -hmm. Yes, they're at Pitt. Yeah, they, and they're dogs at Pitt. And they've got Florida State. They'll probably be dogs in that game. They'll probably be dogs at Wake Forest, and then they'll win at Boston College. So there's a very real chance that none of those three teams will be ranked at the end of the year. So if Clemson wins out, it won't have a single win over a ranked team, possibly. Then in that case, Clemson is the test of whether they start over every year or whether mm -hmm. they take a poll mentality of this is what it is, win, move up, lose, move down. Because if you're truly starting over every, because I, I think that putting Wake Forest at 21, NC State at 22, for lack of better options, I'm okay with that. Oregon State and UCF are in there. Like this, yeah. like right now, I think Clemson being number four makes total sense. If they start from scratch and these teams do start bouncing each other out, and I agree, bud, that's 100% possible. It could be zero. Could also be I North Carolina in the top 10. Right, and they no should doubt. be rooting for top 10 uh, for North Carolina to win out so they have a better opponent. I think it also depends now because now I think you do have the risk of dropping in the poll if you don't dominate the rest of your schedule. And that's what I would say for Clemson. But, you know, like they've oh, got they also, they might have They might have Notre Dame too, Danny. Like depending, Notre yeah. Dame, it would not surprise me to see Notre Dame sneak back in there uh, in, in the back end of this if they, if they somehow beat USC. Yeah, but they're going to, if, if Clemson needs that, they're going to beat them, which is another loss. So it's going to take, Maybe at the very back end of the season, they sneak in there because right. they're Notre Dame. If, if Clemson beats Notre Dame, the best Notre Dame can be is eight and four. Eight Which and four Notre Dame's getting ranked. Yeah. Well, totally. Eight, eight and four Notre Dame also beats USC. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, no, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is there, there's no question, though, if Clemson wins out, they're in, right? I, I don't know. They're, TCU, they're not going to leave. An, if undefeated TCU, ACC is in. Yeah, and undefeated, especially because Clemson's Clemson. a name brand. Yeah, but they're not getting left out. No, listen, if TCU wins out and Clemson wins out, and then you've got Tennessee, Ohio State's undefeated, and then there's a one-loss Michigan or one-loss Alabama or a one-loss Georgia sitting there for that third spot. 
one SEC champion gets in. So you and Michigan has to, no Michigan has zero argument given their non-conference schedule. So like they, they they punted on the UCLA game and canceled that series. I think they'll the committee will hold that against them. You think they would take an undefeated TCU and an undefeated Clemson over a one loss Alabama or or not one Alabama can't be, but a one loss Georgia, a one loss Tennessee. If if they're yeah, not conference so. champ, the, if there was that see so here's the thing, there's zero chance all these teams run the table. Like we know that. But in a hypothetical, they would have to put those teams in because otherwise, why do you play in a power five conference? Why do we play the games if you're not going to give an undefeated conference power five conference champ an opportunity? But there's it's not going to happen. You know, like it'll resolve itself. I think you might have one spot where there's some debate. But I don't think TCU and Clemson both run the table. I, I, one of them's going to lose, and probably both. Clemson's going to have two power conference, non conference opponents and non conference wins. Michigan has zero power five yeah. non conference wins. I think the non conference strength of schedule would put 13 and 0 Clemson ahead of 11 and 1 Michigan if it came down easily. To that final like Michigan, if they lose, is not going to the playoff. Okay, well, what if, non-conference schedule. What if Michigan wins out and it's a one loss Ohio State whose only loss is a close loss to Michigan, but has a win over maybe a top 15, top 10 ish Penn State team by the time the year ends? Because I don't know if Penn State's going to lose another game. They've played the two games that they were going to lose. And a Notre Dame team that, you know, maybe gets eight and four and gets ranked. Is a one loss Ohio State team being left out for an undefeated TCU team that they only consider the seventh best team, even though TCU's kind of already gotten through the heart of its schedule? the best part of its schedule. This is what we talked about on the Monday show where the committee draws these arbitrary lines at top 25 and basically makes this top 25 solely justify what it wants to do at one through four. Like there's no reason if you're doing a four team playoff to rank 25 teams other than to make up your own BS to justify what you want to do at the top four. And they change it up every week because they start from scratch, which basically just means we make this up as we go. It's a TV product until the final one don't read into these rankings all that much. 